Hi, this is Nelen from Nutri Planet, and I'm here with another wholesome plant based and candida diet friendly recipe. I made my omelet with soaked and sprouted chickpeas. Sprouting is especially beneficial for those on candida diet or struggling with blood sugar fluctuations because sprouting diminishes the content of carbohydrates. When the sprouts grow, they use up the carbs. In my opinion, soaking and sprouting also improves the flavor of chickpeas drastically. My nine-year-old kid, who doesn't like anything made with chickpea flour, absolutely loves this omelet made with soaked and sprouted chickpeas. So say goodbye to chickpea flour and try this omelet made with sprouty chickpeas. See how moist and fluffy it is. And above all, this omelet has got texture. Start by soaking the chickpeas for 8 to 12 hours. It's easy. Just pour enough filtered water over the chickpeas and let them be. Make sure there is enough liquid as chickpeas expand to over double their size. Optionally, add an acidic medium to mimic soil's acidity. 1 tablespoon of apple cider vinegar or lemon juice per each cup of dry chickpeas. Rinse and drain the soaked chickpeas and leave them in the sieve over a bigger bowl. Spread them out as much as you can to let the air flowing and cover with clean cloth. Stir as well as rinse and drain the chickpeas several times daily until visible sprouts emerge. It will take about 12 hours. Store any leftovers in a glass jar in the fridge and use up in other recipes or snack on them as they are. Now onto the recipe. Pour one cup of sprouted chickpeas into blender or mixing beaker. Add ground chia seeds, turmeric, Himalayan or black salt. Make sure the black salt is kalanamak and not the one colored with activated charcoal. Next go in nutritional yeast, garlic powder, black pepper and herb spices, oregano or Indian spice mix, depending whether you're after Mediterranean or Indian flavors. You'll need liquid for blending, so add water and give it a shake to mix the ingredients. Process with regular or immersion blender until you have homogeneous batter. Don't worry, it's not supposed to be silky smooth, but with a bit of texture. Finally, take the chopped fresh coriander or parsley and mix it in with a spoon. There are two ways of cooking those omelets. Let's start with a pan. Place one heaping tablespoon of batter onto hot non-stick pan and pat it into about 10 cm 4 inch circle. Once it's cooked on top, it took 6 minutes on a gas stove with medium heat, Flip the omelette over and fry for about 3 more minutes. Then place the omelette on cooling rack or plate and repeat until the batter is finished. You'll have 4 omelettes. Or you can bake them in oven. Ladle all 4 omelettes on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper and pat them into 10 cm 4 inch circles. Bake the omelettes at 175 degrees Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit for 25 minutes. Let cool completely before you try to separate them from the parchment paper. As you can see, I was too hasty with the first one, but all the others came off as magic once they cooled down. Now, if you concentrate, I bet you can smell it through the screen. Serve with some greens, tomatoes and with plain plant yogurt. Those omelets are so full of flavor and delicious by themselves, but you're welcome to read the blog post for more serving tips. The recipe for those Yummy omelettes is in video description as well as up on my blog, so go ahead and give it a try. And if you enjoy my unconventional recipes created to make you thrive, then make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel or newsletter.